This is Naradici, a village about 30 kilometres from the Chernobyl exclusion zone. 25 years ago, it bore the brunt of the radioactive fallout after the world's worst nuclear disaster. Two-thirds of the population left the village and many of the houses still lie in ruins. Naradici is in the zone of compulsory resettlement. Officially, no one should live here. Yet, almost 3,000 people either stayed or came back after the accident, exposing themselves to radioactive danger. Only 10% of our children are healthy. The others have all kinds of illnesses. As for the adults, almost no one is healthy. Everyone has one, two or even three illnesses. Cancer, thyroid diseases and anemia. 25 years on, people are still suffering from the effects of the Chernobyl disaster. Why? Because most of them continue to eat the food that's grown here in this contaminated soil. Specialists at this small laboratory check items of food brought in by local residents. The most dangerous products are milk, berries and mushrooms. In these mushrooms there are 15,700 becquerel, though the acceptable level is 2,500. It's six to seven times more than the limit, but it's not the worst. We've already had 20 or even 40 times more than the limit. The authorities try to stop people eating contaminated food, but residents here often have little choice. Katia doesn't just eat mushrooms, she sells them too. I live near the forest. How would I buy clean food? With what money? What is the work for me here? I live here only because of the forest. It helps us survive. Mushroom and berries help us survive. Since they can't stop people growing food in the contaminated soil, agriculturalists are trying something else. They're planting rapeseed, which reduces radioactivity in the ground. But despite this experiment, the soil won't be safe again for several years to come.